Um, we are going to talk about heavy cargo, I guess. Um, heavy cargo. Hello, Martin. Thank you for joining us. This is uh, an amazing invitation. Thank you so much for uh, being here with us and explaining what heavy cargo is going to bring to us. Uh, yeah, a truly um, unique experience, I think. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah. Uh, let's start with the with the. Uh, basic information about the game. I have also brought a uh, running build so we can I can share the stream uh, and yeah show you a very early bird of the game actually. Fantastic. So yeah what's 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 it all about? Uh, this time we are going as the name amplifies uh, 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 to show more the more heavy stuff um, uh, including some sort of uh, root spotting. So you have we, we, we've built a completely new world, uh, a bit smaller than than the OTR world. It's around about twenty percent as big as the OTR world, and yeah, it's fictional, but uh, truly, truly of German style, I'd say. And yeah, you start as the driver of the uh, Universal Transport Company, which is actually a real, in real life existing heavy haulage. Uh, Oversized load company. Uh, they are specialized on on stuff like that, and um, you you uh, jump into different roles. So uh, you start with a transporter when when like a MAN uh, TGE. Um, this is currently not this one is currently not part of the build uh, because it wasn't ready or not yeah finished enough to show it actually. Okay. Um, I've had only on 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 screenshots. Um, and you do some uh, spotting spotting points. You, spotting points in the world where you just right. look oh okay this bridge might be not stable enough or this is uh, too narrow or uh, something like that so you spot these uh, points and uh, evolve through through the world and but mainly you're driving driving with uh, with trucks and trail off of course and as soon as or as long as you are gaining uh, experience you get the bigger vehicles and yeah, drive drive more more uh, interesting stuff. We we start a little uh, bit with tractors, and uh, we have some some uh, low beds uh, low bed trailers from two axles up to six at the moment. Six axles is currently uh, the highest for the for the low uh, nice. for the low bed trailers. And I can uh, show you uh, show you them um, pretty soon. And yep. then we also have uh, the really really big stuff um the modular trailers with uh, adapters for wind tower segments and wind rotor plates and stuff like that and um yeah uh, i played a played a bit around in the build so uh, <laughs> as a starting point we start with the current i'd say end boss um this is uh, the biggest vehicle we have actually in, in the current state of development and this is a uh, 8x4 MANTGX uh, with two uh, modular trailers coupled together, uh, 12 axles each. So we have 20, 24 axles, all physically calculated uh, with a complete uh, uh, transformator uh, rig in between. So this thing this is, is really, this, really big. This is basically uh, bringing me back a lot of on-the-road vibes right now with the <laughs> MAN uh, TGX yeah. and the double trailers and all that. You guys, I just want to say, you did an amazing job on on the road oh, and uh, keep keep up the great work. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing this experience coming to heavy, heavy cargo. cargo. Yeah. yeah. So really cool. uh, uh, thank, thanks for the kind words and yeah, we are still on it, uh, adding more stuff into uh, on the road. We can talk about that at, at the end. I say. Okay, uh, I need to share the road street uh, yeah, screen yeah, and hope. Is, now, okay. can, can you see the game? Yes, I can see the game. Oh my god, this is beautiful! So here we this go, and huge. you have a driver. Holy moly! Are so, you serious? <laughs> uh, we added some some nice functionality. Yes. Yeah, so. Wow. So, are there going to be escorts? <laughs> I uh, think we're yep, going to need escorts. Uh, yeah, we oh definitely God. need them. They are currently not implemented yet. Oh, my um, God, this is huge. This one is, yeah, it is really huge. This is one of the biggest vehicles we actually have at the moment. And I muted the sound because uh, sound is not finished yet. But Holy uh, mother of God. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed right now. This is beautiful. Absolutely so, stunning. Let's give it a try. 
just the fact that you can walk around and go in and out of the truck, uh, on the, I think on the road was uh, a key uh, move from you guys. It's amazing the fact that we were able to load and unload the cargo physically, uh, refuel the trucks. This, And I see you brought all this to uh, heavy cargo too. Right. Absolutely. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, glad you like it. Um, yeah, we, uh, as, as stated, we, we simulate every single axle, oh not actually God. every single, not actually a, every single wheel for the trailers, um, because they How they have to use uh, double stuff. Oh, we can can give it a try. There's a, a small small crossing uh, right in front of us, and oh. I will show you. Um, at the moment, we only have an automatic steering for for the okay. uh, rear end, uh, but we are currently working at uh, the ability to steer it manually while the uh, truck is driving basically itself. So there so is rear can... rear steering, right? The axles yeah, do yes. steer in the back yeah. as well. Okay. I can show you how many axles is meters. the trailer? Uh, the total? trailer has 20, uh, 24 axles. Axles. Twenty four. Jesus. Yeah. Right. This is this is actually the the biggest I'm biggest one at the moment. Sorry, I'm being so religious, but I I am <laughs> mind blown right now. This so, is incredible. This looks beautiful. As you can see, the world is not finished yet, but uh, yeah, it's it's at a it at a good point realistic. at the moment. Thank you. So now let's give it a try to uh, get yep. this thing. I see, I see the the lights hitting the uh, the street. It, it looks looks amazing. The reflections, the shadows. Oh wow! Look at that turn. Oh my oh, god! Crashed oh. a bit in, into the wall. Oh look at that! Look at the axles moving. That's crazy. And unfortunately, uh, yeah. <laughs> It takes it takes a bit of work, like you said. Uh, being able to uh, manually control it will give us a sense of uh, immersion, sense of uh, real time experience with this trailer. Yeah, it's quite a challenge from the looks of things. This, yeah, yeah, it, def it definitely is. Uh, in most cases, I uh, I'd say for, in the current uh, state of testing, I'd say at ninety percent it uh, does the automatic steering does its job actually. Mm -hmm. um, but there's few situations where you actually really, really uh, want to steer yourself. Um, and which map is this in? What um, uh, this what is location? a uh, this is a entirely uh, new map. I'm not sure. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, is this, this in is Germany? The, uh, yeah, it's it's, okay. but it's no no real map. It's uh, okay. as you can see, the the map is not finished yet. But yeah, there's still some work to do. <laughs> right. Um. But yeah, we have has some some uh, made some some nice progress. We have uh, way more interesting spots like in uh, oh, as, like a dam. Is that a dam? Yeah. This, yeah. yeah oh, that's, beautiful. That's a dam. This is a a marina. Um, we have this mountain city here. Um, this is actually a a, a, a company building aircrafts, uh, and uh, yeah, we have these. Um, how do you Will say? Will there be a uh, nearby airport or something uh, added to, uh, the, to the game? No, uh, we transport most of the stuff to to the harbor. Okay. That's okay. And as you can see on the map, currently the water is not rendered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why it looks a bit strange. No worries. Uh, I also need to. Uh, um, need to restart the game yep no problem oh it's on unity unity and yeah like 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 otr oh, as well great yeah looks great so some great of unity. the some of the old old so <laughs> track ir is going to be a thing on this game uh it's going to be um, implemented like uh, yeah, OTR. yeah yeah so let's have a closer look beautiful oh look at that <laughs> that is great and there's an, uh, another thing uh, we added you can spot it on the set and Ooh, mobile crane I like it 
I like it. My God, this is massive. Yeah, this this one is is really big, and it's not the biggest crane we are currently adding in the game. Um, I can show it uh, possibly at the Gamescom a okay. complete uh, crawler crane on tank tracks. But are we going to be getting a demo of uh, this game at Gamescom? Will people yeah. be able to try this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, before this... release, uh, are we going to be getting a small taste of it on Steam as well? Maybe as a demo. Um, I'm not sure if there will be a uh, actual demo on Steam. Mm -hmm. uh, can't tell you that at the moment, but there okay. will be a playable version at the Gamescom. At the Gamescom. So, guys, if you guys are going to Gamescom, go check out uh, this amazing game, Heavy Cargo. Looks awesome. I can show you uh, also a, a couple of, of loads um, because we added a, a, a somewhat simple script uh, to this version because uh, at the moment there are only some uh, test missions available in the game. So um, I can show you this one here. Are you playing this in real time right now or is this a yeah, recording? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing oh, this wow. right now. So uh, awesome. this is current current state of the development. So let me show you some more loads. Uh, this one is actually has also twelve axles. Oh wow! And can you turn the beacons off and on, or is uh, uh, not at, not at the moment? It's not I can, implemented I, yet. Okay. Uh, let, let's say it's implemented, but it's a bit buggy at the moment. So okay. as you can see, you can see. Right. Right. Um, uh, I hope this works now. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. A whole wing. <laughs> a complete uh, ship a complete diesel. Engine. Oh, geez. Uh, several machinery for so many a. Options. Okay. So, you guys are serious. <laughs> um, we are you planning. Guys we are, are planning. Serious. Uh, we this are, is not uh, a joke. Playing... This is a game and a half. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, refueling system? Um, yep. Uh, it's the system taken from OTR. Uh, so okay. uh, uh, this works works Beautiful. like uh, uh, like like in in OTR. So uh, leaving the vehicle and uh, fueling it up and. You need to uh, need to uh, uh, leave the vehicle to do so, uh, like we did in OTR as well. So, just so is there a driver there. now? If you zoom in, can I see yeah, the driver? Sure. Oh, there is. Oh, yep. wow, nice. That's Jeez. what you need on OTR, guys. I kept telling you from yeah. the beginning, you need a driver <laughs> yeah, in that know. cockpit. Yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely, yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> I um, love that game. Uh, I love yeah. playing that game. Um, we are currently evaluating what we can actually put back into OTR because they are somewhat sisters uh, of yep. projects. And yeah, I can, I can. So single player, right? Yeah. No multiplayer. Single player. Okay. Okay. For for this trailer, I've only this autoclave and the uh, uh, yacht. Mm -hmm. uh, this one has actually eighteen axles. So this is our biggest. A single trailer, single trailer uh, set up at yeah. the moment. Instead and of the combo. Look at that. That's a massive yacht. And the physics, uh, according to trailer uh, and the weight, do you actually feel that in, in, the, uh, in the cab? Yeah. You feel yeah, the you pull? Can, okay. You can feel the pull. And uh, at the moment, this trailer is without a, a PPU, uh, mm -hmm. so the power pack units. Um, so possibly we are not making it up that hill. <laughs> possibly. Oh, I see. see. So yeah, there's going to be and... there's going to be unlockable uh, engine uh, upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, for the missions, we will uh, uh, pre-configure all the vehicles. I hope we make it, but it doesn't look. No, oh, no, wow. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's but yeah, crazy. as you can see, all the axles do yeah. the stuff uh, as you might expect it at that moment. Um, this is let me get, awesome. Uh, uh, let, uh, let me get rid of the trailer uh, <laughs> because I have another big thing to show you. Um, yeah. 
So, bye bye. <laughs> 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 that was funny. Oh, engine stalled. Martin, you're awesome, man. Thanks, thanks for uh, making <laughs> me uh, smile. You, this is this is incredible. As you can see, the graphics are not final. Now, I like these uh, containers here. And uh, currently, at the moment, for all the uh, crossings, the traffic lights are actually missing because the system is not ready yet. Mm -hmm. um, we are also working on a complete new set of AI cars. Um, they okay. are almost finished. I uh, hope, hope we can see them in the uh, Gamescom demo. Um, yeah, we added also a lot of details to, uh, to the trucks. Um, as you can see here in the, in the back there, cables, cables, stuff, and there's um, yeah, so so much new new stuff in here. Um, Incredible! It looks heavy duty. It looks like a heavy cargo vehicle, ready to uh, so, manage the okay. haul. So, uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, this next step of mine is not going to break the physics. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Give me a sec. Oh, there yeah, no worries. Some, so this is going to be released as early access to start, or is mm, it going to come ah, out here as a full release? Um, we are currently planning to release it simultaneously on PC and on consoles. And nice. uh, sorry, there won't be an early access. Check it out! Oh my God, you could drive cars under there. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, this is currently the longest load. Uh, we're not 100% sure if it will actually make it into the final wow. game, but <laughs> the moment it looks like it will work. I want it. I want it to be in the game, and I want to try and turn this <laughs> at an intersection. This is going to be quite the experience. This is crazy. Yeah, this is going well, to I'm be sure, heavy. I'm sure if this comes into the game, you're going to have designated routes for it where it can reach. Yeah, right. A, uh, we are, we are, B. yeah. We are, we are splitting, splitting our missions into uh, three different types, and those really, really heavy stuff here uh, mm -hmm. is, uh, I'd say, stage three. So you're uh, working or uh, driving on a a closed route, and there will be some police stuff and yeah, uh, lock roadblocks, and then you're going to uh, uh, drive carefully. Uh, on these roads, because yeah. it's, it won't be possible to uh, to drive this through the uh, <laughs> main time no. main time traffic. <laughs> no, no, definitely, definitely get like a couple of escorts in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my god! Incredible. We have currently almost finished uh, three different types of or three yeah three different escort vehicles. I uh, from transporters to uh, 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 yeah, I pick up. Also for for the for the guys liking more more of of the US car experience, you can get a Raptor like uh, a pickup as escort vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, only the MAN uh, MANs are integrated in the game. Okay. Um, we are currently testing physics and uh, figuring out if everything works as expected. And after that, we bring back the Scanias as well. So Scania. till the release, uh, nice. till the release, we will definitely see the Scania as well. Uh, the uh, four four axle uh, chassis is already ready. Um, is that third axle uh, adjustable? Can you move it up and down on on the uh, uh, on the man? Uh, no, that's actually not not integrated not and okay. uh, or it's it's at the moment also not planned because uh, the, uh, it's a bit this game will be from from the role uh, mm -hmm. gameplay uh, will be different uh, to uh, to OTR because you are getting your vehicles for your missions mm -hmm. and there are will most likely be no mission where you uh, drive around with this as a single vehicle so um you're doing an awesome job driving, buddy. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's Thank such you. a narrow roadway. Um, also, will this be mission based, or do you have to sign the contracts like you do in OTR and sign? No, them? no. Um, it's it's mission based. You are it's just uh, this time you are a driver. We we thought about that, but because of uh, Universal Transport is actually a real existing company. Um, mm -hmm. And we we were there and took took a lot of reference shots and we realized uh, how many different vehicles they actually have and this would be somewhat strange uh, in the gameplay if you need to buy all those vehicles. Yeah, uh, true. So we decided just to make just a whole bunch of different missions. And, oh, you're not uh, going to make that turn. There's no way you're going to make that turn. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no way. It should, it should lift up it and lift it a bit. Oh my god, that's crazy. Look at that. I hope that the rear steering will do no its job. No way. This is incredible. I can't believe my eyes. Ah, it's doing its job. Beautiful. Right? And we Beautiful. made it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. That's amazing. So mission based, uh, you accumulate points. Uh, how right. do you grade up in 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 this game? Yeah, um, we we con consider it uh, several things like how many lanterns you ha you have killed or had to remove because uh, mm -hmm. these uh, route preparation, especially for the stage three missions, is is a part of the game. So you are switching to another uh, 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 person. And then you start uh, preparing the routes, and you can kick out every lantern and kill the <laughs> kill the traffic lights. But obviously, oh, oh, wow! What happened? Uh, our time is almost up. I want to thank you, Martin. Yep. Uh, it's been amazing. This uh, this game from Talk to Interactive, I think it's called now, the sister company yep. of Talkstronic. Yep. Uh, right. amazing, uh, what you've brought to the table, heavy cargo guys, uh, check it out on Gamescom. Thank you so much, Martin, for, uh, showcasing this game. I wish you great success on it. And I'm going to be one of the first ones trying it out. I'll tell you, I'm really looking forward to this game. <laughs> okay. You guys are awesome. Keep up the Thank great you, work. Thank you for your time and for that awesome feedback and yeah, I wish you a, a nice day and have fun with all the other guys. You too, um, my friend. Yeah, you, right, the time Take... is unfortunately up. Yeah, um, yeah I had, had, a, had a fantastic time and wish you all the best. Time goes yeah. by so fast when I'm having fun. Isn't that a thing? <laughs> that, that's right, that's right. Take care, Martin, and hopefully we can get some uh, drivers on, on the road. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying it. Uh, our, program is two, uh, our uh, programmer is two rooms away, so I will tell him. Perfect. Again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> Looking forward to the new update. <laughs> no, thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.